Africans and Afro-descendants were convinced throughout the centuries that uh, uh, we did not exist. Uh, when Mexico was uh, conceived as a modern nation, the uh, people were told that we were all mixed breeds, that we were uh, a part uh, European and mostly indigenous, and that uh, the African, the very little bit of African genes that we had, uh, had disappeared through this mixing. The reason given was that African genes were recessive. The idea that in Mexico there is no uh, African legacy it has been my lifetime challenge, and lifetime challenge to prove that Africa is in the daily routine of Mexicans, not only uh, uh, Mexicans who look black, but also of Mexicans who look white. The legacy that Africans, uh, this is anywhere from 300,000 to a million Africans were brought to Mexico during the colonial period, and they did not come empty-handed. These folks uh, were already mature, anywhere in between 15 and 22 years old, those were the ages that the slavers uh, uh, preferred to capture young people. Uh, that, that was the age they preferred to capture these young people. And when they came to the Americas, they came already with a culture. Rice is not, is not the only thing that uh, uh, Africans brought to Mexico. Three national drinks uh, are teas made from uh, a, what, what is called Jamaica, Bisap in uh, West Africa, and uh, the other one is Tamarind, uh, which is called as Ruja in West Africa. And of course, the rice water that comes from the same rice that now I know it came from the Casamance area. But what's really interesting is that not only our drinks, not only the rice, but even the way we serve the stews uh, reveal a very deep African imprint in our culture as well.